everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kerry Clancy and I'm a meditation teacher and intuitive energy healer and cranial sacral therapist here in Bali and I work at the world famous yoga barn. So welcome to my channel um, and today I'd like to make a video like I was thinking this morning what would be really helpful that I could share with others to uh, maybe help them along uh, in their day and this is what I'm finding uh, the preparation for your day so let's say uh, you wake up in the morning and you're feeling good and you want it, you feel like you can get out there and get things done and really create and all the juices are flowing and then all of a sudden something happens maybe you reach for your phone too early and you read a message and, you, and then all of a sudden you feel your energy levels dropping oh no not an email from that person or that company or that thing that's happening so this is what I'd like you to think about. Don't reach for your phone as your first thing you do. Reach for your spirit, your soul. Look inside and go deep. And ask you, not no one else, and what's in your phone. Not on social media, looking at what other people are doing that may even drop your levels even further. Look inside and say to yourself, to you, what is it I can do today to make a difference to humanity? What is it? What are my unique skills, my gifts that I can give to the world and be of service? To make a difference that's number one and sit with that and when I say sit with that you're sitting with yourself you point the finger in never point it out so you want to start your day with ease and grace and you want to feel into feel into who you are yourself and then listen so it's feel and listen. That's number one. And number two, I'd like you to think about this. Write down what you're hearing, what you're seeing, and what you're feeling. Just A, B, C them. Close your eyes for one and ask, what am I hearing? And just notice the most significant sound. You may be able to hear, like me, I don't know if you can hear, there's a beautiful waterfall below me. Um, and I can hear that constantly all day and I love it because I close my eyes and I just think of water, the magic of water. Water is consciousness, as I know, and we are full of water. But you might not have that. You might have something else in the background. Sometimes I hear roosters and it reminds me of my childhood. So that lights me up too. So you want to aim for what can I hear that makes me feel good. But even noises in the background that don't make you feel good. Notice what's happening. But you want to really try and find something that makes you feel good. And you might hear birds chirping. You might hear the wind blowing. You might hear raindrops on the roof. And then the next thing is, I want you to look at what you notice. Maybe you're in your bedroom and you can see through your window. Maybe you can't, maybe you need to hop up and open up your window and say, Wow, look at that beautiful sunrise. Or look up in the sky and say, Look at those beautiful clouds. The clouds remind me of the angelic realm of angels. So I always say if you're stuck, look up and shift your energy and then say thank you. And number three, exhale. 
Inhale, exhale. Just a couple of times because you say you want to release. And then notice anything that comes up that you'd like to plan for the day or for the future. For example, there might be a goal that you'd like to achieve today, tomorrow, this week, in six months, and start writing what that is. So mine might be, I'm wanting to get a villa built. And my goal is to actually get to the stage where they start building. What would I need to do? I need to check in with the builder. Number two, make sure the architect's online. In, in, in alignment with what I want to create, uh, make sure whoever I'm buying the appliances from is on board and is in alignment with what I want to create. So then you go your ABCs again or your one, two, three, fours. It doesn't really matter. Um, as long as you start feeling into that energy, then I want you to feel yourself being in whatever you want to create with the people around you. Maybe they might be marketing people. Maybe they might be graphic designers. Maybe they might be people that are, have an influence on you, or a videographer, for example, or a photographer. Um, so really define what it is you need, and then ask yourself, where do I find, if you haven't already, where do I find that person? And then once you put it out there in that state of calmness and softness and feeling, into you the universe hears that and then sit with it and feel and listen notice how that feels to have it notice how it feels walking around in it shaking hands perhaps making a deal with your business uh sitting with people having a business lunch or laughing because you and you're the star of the show Imagine it. Imagine you had a fairy godmother, just like I'm the fairy godmother. <laughs> and go for it. Whatever you want, your wish is my command. So allow it. Allow the fairies to come, the angels to come. Call them all in, ascendant masters, high beings of light, Palladians, Arcturians, whoever wants to play today. Call them all in and sit with that. Feel it in your body, then embody it. Embodiment means push it through with your breath into every muscle, every tissue, every cell in your body. Really feel it in your hips, in your groin, in your ankles, in your toes. Light yourself up. So thank you for listening to my YouTube today. Uh, please put a comment and a like if you'd enjoyed it or if you want me to talk more about something else that comes up for you please let me know and I'm quite happy to make a video uh, and you can find me on kerrythehealer.com have a beautiful beautiful day namaste